For 80 years, MiG defined Soviet power. From World War II dogfights to the hypersonic future, this is every MiG aircraft ever made. Let's start with the World War II era propellers. The desperate race to survive the Nazi invasion. MiG-1, the first, the Bureau's debut interceptor. Built from wood and steel to save metal, it was fast but dangerously unstable. It was a difficult beast to tame, but it proved that Mikoyan could build a high-speed fighter. MiG-3, the high flyer. Optimized for the stratosphere, this interceptor was a beast at high altitudes but a flying brick near the ground. It became the primary defender of Moscow, intercepting German bombers where the air was too thin for other planes to breathe. MiG-7, the experiment. A pure altitude testbed designed to see if a piston engine could work in the stratosphere. It carried a massive turbocharger that filled the fuselage, but the technology wasn't ready yet. I-220 MiG-11, the powerhouse, a high-altitude prototype meant to fix the flaws of the MiG-3. It featured a larger wing and heavier cannons, surpassing the German BF-109 in performance trials, but the war ended before it could see combat. I-225, the peak piston, the ultimate Soviet propeller fighter. Equipped with a turbo-supercharged engine, it reached speeds of 720 kilometers per hour, pushing the absolute limit of what a propeller could do before the jet age arrived. MiG-4 PBA, the attacker. MiG's attempt at a flying tank. It carried heavy armor and ground attack cannons, but its twin tail layout was awkward. It ultimately lost the contract to the legendary Eliashin IL-2 Sturmovik. MiG-5 DIS, the escort, a twin-engine, long-range heavy fighter meant to escort bombers deep into enemy territory. It had heavy firepower, but the engines were unreliable, and the project was scrapped after only two were built. MiG-8, Ukka the Duck, a strange, wooden experimental aircraft with a pusher propeller and canards, wings in front. It wasn't built for combat, but to test the swept-wing aerodynamics that would later make the MiG-15 a legend. Next is the mixed power and Rocket H, the awkward transition from props to jets. MiG-13 I-250, the hybrid, a Frankenstein monster born from desperation. It had a propeller in the front and a primitive jet engine in the back to boost speed. It was designed to catch German jets, but pure jet engines soon made it obsolete. I-270, the rocket, the Soviet answer to the German Mi-163 Comet. It was a pure rocket interceptor with no jet engine. It launched, attacked bombers in a frenzy, and then had to glide back to Earth as a heavy, unpowered glider. Next is the first-generation jets. The dawn of the Red Air Force, MiG-9, Fargo, the Soviet Union's first jet fighter, powered by reverse-engineered German BMW engines. It was flawed, firing the nose cannons would often stall the engines due to gas ingestion but it officially brought Russia into the jet age. MiG-15, Faggot, the shock to the west. Appearing over Korea, it swept wings and massive 37mm cannon tore American B-29 bombers apart. It was so advanced that the US had to rush the F-86 Sabre into service just to compete. MiG-15 UTI, Midget, the two-seat trainer version of the legend. It became the standard jet trainer for the entire communist bloc. This is the aircraft that taught Yuri Gagarin how to fly, and tragically, the one he died in. MiG-17, Fresco, the nimble killer. While slower than American supersonic jets in Vietnam, its tight turning radius allowed it to lure F-4 Phantoms into close-range dogfights, where its cannons could punish the missile-reliant Americans. I-320, the Night Watchman, a massive, all-weather interceptor prototype. It featured a radar in the nose and two engines buried deep in the fuselage. It was designed to hunt bombers in the dark, but the cockpit visibility was terrible. SN, the side gunner, one of the weirdest experiments in history. A MiG-17 with an extended nose and pivoting cannons mounted on the side, intended to strafe ground targets while flying in a circle. It was ineffective and cancelled. Next is the supersonic era, second gen. Breaking the sound barrier, MiG-19. Farmer, the first Soviet production aircraft capable of supersonic speeds in level flight. Armed with three heavy cannons, it was a brute force machine that bridged the gap between dogfighters and missile carriers. I-3 and I-7U, the heavy interceptors, prototypes designed to carry the new heavy radars and missiles of the 1950s. They were incredibly fast but suffered from unreliable engines, serving as stepping stones for the MiG-21. MiG-21, Fishbed, the 
the AK-47 of the sky, the most produced supersonic jet in history. Simple, fast, and cheap, it used a Delta wing for speed. It has served in over 60 countries and, incredibly, is still flying in combat today. Yi-2, the swept wing, the sister of the MiG-21 prototype. It used swept wings instead of a Delta wing. Flight tests proved that the Delta shape was superior for speed, leading to the MiG-21 we know today. E-50, the booster, a MiG-21 prototype fitted with a liquid rocket booster on its tail. It was a dangerous attempt to intercept high-flying U-2 spy planes before surface-to-air missiles became the standard solution. E-8, Super Fishbed, a radical redesign of the MiG-21. It moved the air intake under the belly like an F-16 and added canards. It was faster and more agile, but a catastrophic engine explosion during testing killed the project. Yi-150 and Yi-152, the giants, massive heavy interceptors that looked like giant tubes with wings. They were built around a single massive engine to carry huge missiles, designed specifically to shoot down American nuclear bombers before they reached the border. Yi-166, the record break the fastest single-engine jet of its time. It set absolute world speed records, proving to the world that Soviet engineering could outrun anything the West had. MiG-21I, the analog, a MiG-21 fuselage fitted with the scaled-down wing of the Tu-144 Concorde ski. It was used solely to teach civilian pilots how to land the supersonic airliner's unique delta wing shape. Next are the variable geometry and interceptors, third gen, speed and swing wings. MiG-23, Vlogger, the swing wing striker, could sweep its wings back to cut through the air at Mach 2 or forward for short takeoffs. It was the first Soviet jet with look-down slash shoot-down radar capable of engaging targets hiding against the ground clutter. MiG-23 PD, the Faithless, a VTOL experiment designed to operate from destroyed runways. It used a main engine for flight and two dedicated lift jets in the fuselage to hover. The dead weight of the lift jets made it useless in combat. MiG-27, Vlogger D, the ground attack evolution of the MiG-23. It removed the radar and added a duck nose for better visibility, along with a six-barrel 30mm Gatling gun that could shred tanks. MiG-25, Foxbat, the nightmare of the Cold War. Built from stainless steel and powered by massive engines, it could reach Mach 3.2. It was designed to intercept the Valkyrie bomber, holding speed and altitude records that remain unbroken. Yi-155, the Foxbat Zero, the very first prototype of the MiG-25. It paved the way for the Mach 3 interceptor, testing engines and fuel systems that could survive the extreme heat of flying three times the speed of sound. Next is the modern era, fourth gen and air superiority, matching the West in agility and tech. MiG-29, Fulcrum, the Soviet answer to the F-16. Highly agile, it introduced the revolutionary helmet-mounted sight, allowing pilots to lock onto enemy planes simply by looking at them, a capability the West wouldn't match for decades. MiG-29K, the Sea Fulcrum, the carrier-based version of the Fulcrum. It features folding wings, a tail hook, and ruggedized landing gear to handle the brutal impact of landing on the decks of Russian and Indian aircraft carriers. MiG-29M, MiG-33, Super Fulcrum, a deeply modernized version of the MiG-29. It replaced the old analog controls with digital fly-by-wire, increased fuel capacity, and added multi-role capability to strike ground targets with precision. MiG-29 OVT, the Acrobat, a technology demonstrator for 3D thrust vectoring. Its engine nozzles can move in any direction, allowing it to perform backflips, flat spins, and the Cobra maneuver at airshows, defying the laws of aerodynamics. MiG-31, Foxhound, the evolution of the Foxbat, a traded raw speed for intelligence. It carries the massive Zaslan radar, the first phased array on a fighter, allowing it to track multiple targets and share data with other planes like a flying command center. MiG-35, Fulcrum F, the ultimate evolution of the MiG-29 family. A 4 plus plus generation fighter featuring AESA radar, laser weapon warning sensors, 
and thrust vectoring. It is marketed as a cheaper, rugged alternative to Western fighters. Finally, the experimental space and future projects. The weird, the lost, and the future. MiG-105, the spiral, the Soviet space plane, nicknamed the shoe because of its stubby shape. It was a testbed for a reusable spacecraft meant to launch from a hypersonic mothership years before the US space shuttle. MiG-1.44, Flatpak, the Soviet answer to the F-22 Raptor, a massive Delta Wing stealth prototype with canards. It flew briefly, but the collapse of the Soviet Union dried up funding, leaving it as a what-if of history. Project 701, the Heavy Interceptor, a massive proposed successor to the MiG-31, intended to patrol the entire Arctic Circle. It was designed for extreme range and endurance but was deemed too expensive and never left the drawing board. MiGAT, the trainer, a modern advanced jet trainer designed to teach pilots how to fly fifth-generation fighters. It competed against the Yak-130 but ultimately lost the main Russian contract. MiG-110, the lifter, a twin-boom cargo plane concept designed to transport troops and supplies into rough terrain. It featured a loading ramp between the tail booms, similar to the P-38 Lightning's layout. SCAT, the drone, a stealth unmanned combat aerial vehicle UCAV concept. It looks like a miniature B-2 Spirit designed for deep strike missions against heavy air defenses without risking a pilot. MiG-41 PAC-DP, the future, the rumored successor to the MiG-31, a hypersonic interceptor concept designed to fly at Mach 4 Plus and operate in near space. It is intended to hunt satellites and intercept hypersonic missiles.